Okay, here we go. So, this is going to consider what's actually happening outside of the reaction. So, as chemical reactions, um, usually have an energy change. If it's going to work, if so it's going to uh, Well, we'll look at it in a minute. It's a balance between the two. So overall, the universe has to... So if your reaction is becoming less disordered, then it must be highly exothermic to make the entropy of the surroundings become more disordered. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. It's a balance between the two. So if the reaction is exothermic... highly exothermic and produces lots of gas. So that's what it's really going to like. What it's not going to like <coughs> is something where I take maybe two gases and make one gas from it, uh, and it's endothermic as well. It's not going to be happening. And obviously the reverse is true for an endothermic reaction. So we combine these in something called Gibbs free energy. Um, so we have to combine surroundings and systems to give us one value which will allow us to predict whether a reaction will spontaneously occur. Um, so, to work out if a reaction will go, so it will be spontaneous, we use Gibbs free energy. Now this is a OCR thing. I don't like it, but we're stuck with it. Um, there are better ways of doing it, but OCR one and two gives free energy, and therefore we will. Um, we use Gibbs free energy, and this combines the entropy change. So it combines delta S system, so the entropy change of the system with delta S surroundings, so that's the entropy change of the surroundings, to give us one value. So it allows us to balance these two against each other to um, work it out. 